Hello and welcome to Affiliate Reviews. In this video we're going to be taking a look at Digistore. This is a new online platform that just launched earlier today. Uh, just before we get into that, this is an honest review video. This is not a sales or hype or promo video. It's not a paid promotional video. Uh, this is me taking a look through a sales page to give you an honest assessment and help you to make a good decision before you make up your mind on this product. So. Uh, there will be a link in the video description uh, that'll take you to the sales page that I'm looking at in this video. If you choose to purchase the product through that link, I will receive a commission. That's just by way of giving you full disclosure. Uh, you can check out the link. Uh, check out the link as well to my Patreon page if you'd like to support the channel without purchasing anything. Let's dive in. So Digistore, it's going to tell us pretty much up front what it's going to offer us. It is giving us a uh, ready-made store online uh, that is selling digital products now we get a few details early and this is a very small sales page I often complain about overly large unnecessarily complicated and wordy uh, sales pages in this case this one could do with a few more details but uh, so it's telling us no affiliates Okay, so that means that we're not working through, we're not, we're not worried about selling somebody else's product. Uh, no Amazon, that's good because Amazon actually has some of the, st straight up, just being honest, Amazon has some of the worst affiliate commissions uh, to be found on the internet. Uh, no drop shipping. Okay, so the advantage to no drop shipping is, you know, you're not emailing, uh, you're not keeping in contact with, uh, with a lot of customers all the time your own digital products just uploaded okay so obviously you aren't coming to the table with a bunch of digital products so what you're doing is you are selling somebody else's digital products they're just preloaded okay so we're going to take a look through this uh, i'm not going to read through all of the sales page we've got you know comparisons with a traditional brick and mortar which I mean, we're, we're dealing with online. Presumably, you've already figured out the advantages to working online over brick and mortar. Or maybe you have a brick and mortar and you're trying to figure out how to make it more competitive with online uh, uh, utility. But uh, we finally get down to some more details here. All inventory is given to you. Okay, now this is good and bad. Uh, the good thing is that, yes, it means that you don't have to go looking for product to sell it means that you don't have to uh, go shopping and figure out what is going to to sell what what won't uh, there's very little decisions to make the downside to it is that everyone who purchases this product is going to end up with the same store you're 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 not uh, now there may be an inventory that you you're going to pick and choose from but most people given the option are going to have a larger inventory rather than a smaller inventory. Uh, so because it's all given to you, you're going to end up with a bunch of stores that are basically cookie cutters of each other. Okay, it costs almost nothing to flip. So this, I'm not sure if there's just a misuse of terminology here. Usually when we talk about flip in online income, we're talking about flipping a website so I don't know if they're talking about purchasing a, uh, a domain or purchasing well you're given a subdomain apparently uh, and, and then turning around and selling the store later because that's not usually what somebody's setting up a store for I mean it can be done but uh, or if they're talking about flipping the product itself in which case well it shouldn't cost you anything to sell the product once you've paid for this product itself uh, complete turnkey and autopilot okay so what 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 I'm thinking this is going to be uh, is that uh, you are going to basically be given a preloaded storefront basically I think this is going to be it over here um, and uh, you I think somewhere in here it was mentioned a subdomain Do, 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 do. you can update the site or add new products there we go so you're gonna get 230 high demand niche ebooks um, unfortunately we're not told what niches they are or aren't in we aren't getting 
any sample titles or anything. Your own subdomain hosting account and SSL traffic to your site, uh, and you'll make 100% profits for each sale. Now, this this is kind of misleading. Um, this this sounds good, and and it should, but we need to understand what profits are. Profit is the money that's left after expenses. So, if you're selling a product for twenty dollars, but the product costs you ten dollars, your profit is ten dollars, not twenty dollars. You're selling an ebook for seven fifty, but you, you, you get the idea, I hope. Um, 100% profits is not necessarily a 100% of the sale. Okay, so be, be clear about what profit is. Um, what this feels like to me is somebody who's running kind of an octopus. Uh, and what I mean by that is that um, there's a central site that is going to be operating with numerous affiliate sites such as this. Um, as, as the subdomains, not as domains, but as subdomains, and basically you're paying to get in as one of the arms of the octopus. Now, there's nothing wrong with that, and there is the option to, to, uh, to be a little bit more flexible. We did see that you can, you can bring in your own, uh, your, your own products. You can pick different things to, 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 uh, to upload, but that's what it feels like to me anyway. So, uh, just just be aware. Make sure you check out the disclaimers. There's not an awful lot in here about the details, um, but I, I, I'd be hesitant in getting in on this just because the amount of profit that you make could actually end up being very, very small. Uh, and because it's a ready-made store, again, the amount of competition you're going to have is going to be dependent upon the number of people who purchase the product. So... I'm going to give this a pretty lukewarm review. This is not something I would strongly suggest. However, uh, the the upside to it is it, it is done for you. Uh, it is basically ready to go straight out of the box. It's about $30 US. I, I think if you're looking to do a, a digital store, um, there, are, there are, I think, better products out there. Um, I did... Um, we did a review earlier today for instant profit stores, which I, I honestly think uh, is probably a much better option if you're looking to get into online sales and uh, I think is going to give you a lot more versatility than this, is going to help you stick out a little more clearly amongst your competitors than this will. Um, but hey, this one this one's all done, it's ready to go. And it could surprise me. There could be there could be spectacular profits in it, but again, I, I have I personally have some hesitations with it. Uh, it bothers me that there's it bothers me that this is the only image that we're we're given. There's there's no walkthrough. There's there's no uh, there's there's really not an awful lot of details given to us. So, um, can you have a successful ebook store? Sure, you can. Um, but, uh, that, that seems to be basically what it's functioning on. Um, so anyway, you can check out the sales page for yourself in the link in the description. I hope this has been uh, a useful review. I hope at the very least that I can, uh, give you guys a bit of information and give you some food for thought before you, uh, give a product like this a serious look. Uh, thanks for, thanks for watching and I'll be back with another one soon.